So this this patient and uh, he has uh, he, he's a very young guy, 17. Uh, he's very tall. Uh, he is uh, um, he has very good family, motivated uh, to do the surgery for that one reason. Uh, he has open bite. He has class three malocclusion, uh, and uh, it's not very severe. And he was referred to uh, uh, set his lower jaw back. So a lot of times, I, I, you know, we have to help the patient to decide what's better for them. And uh, when we look at the pictures here, uh, let, let's go back to this. He has a little bit of long face. Uh, he has a bulbous nose. Uh, this picture is not perfect of him. Uh, probably one uh, one of my assistants took it, you know, but he has a little bit like this. So you have to make sure you, when you take the pictures, they're perfect, and we'll see some better pictures uh, as we go. Uh, intro oral is important. Uh, this is a good uh, uh, image right there. So he uh, he's in the natural head position. That means that's how uh, he's uh, he's not up. He's not down. Uh, but uh, let's look at his uh, uh, at, at the whole thing here. Uh, I'm looking at the pupil right there, and his chin, the subpupil area, is exactly flat, and it's probably aligned or behind. So normally we want to see the cheekbone right here. And his nose has a little troop, and if you if you look at this uh, uh, alar base, it has poor support. It's almost like concave right there. Then this uh, nasal labial angle is uh, obtuse. Why? Because his central incisor is behind. He's class three, so most of the time your upper jaw is behind and your lower jaw is forward, and. Uh, his lower jaw is, I mean, his chin, uh, chin uh, length is, uh, throat length is not that bad. Verticals, he's a little long here. Um, and uh, he has a nice columella show and the nasal tip is okay. Uh, could be a little bit of super tip break there on the nose. But th that's the thinking I have. So uh, I treat him for two jaw advancement. So this patient, you cannot set his lower jaw back. You will decrease his airway and then you'll give him completely flat, flat face. So uh, we'll look at here, uh, cheek, uh, you know, so he's 17, uh, uh, it's just a regular insurance case, you know, uh, patients, uh, patient family cannot afford uh, rhinoplasty or cheek implants, and uh, they're just not interested in that period, you know, and that's totally fine. Uh, for every patient has their own case. This is cephalometric analysis, so this is where I want to uh, make a point. Remember, from dental schools, they taught us Steiner uh, uh, analysis, uh, widths, uh, uh, this and that. You know, so they're all cranial base analysis. So we're treating uh, cranial base, or we're treating uh, jaw uh, discrepancy based on uh, our cranial base. Um, it's uh, very outdated, and it's not done uh, anymore uh, by. Uh, forward-looking surgeons, but uh, instead we substituted this by soft tissue analysis. So we look at the face, and that's what dictates, you know, there's analysis that we can measure the thicknesses of the soft tissue, uh, there's uh, the position of the central incisor relative to glabella, but it's mostly, uh, uh, it's position of the, uh, of the soft tissue and, and, and uh, points like a, a upper incisor, low incisor tip, uh, pogonia, B point, A point, uh, based to the facial uh, uh, balance and profile to globella or um, uh, the nasion, but not to the skeletal base anymore. Uh, so we planned this 3D, uh, 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 this uh, case to, uh, with a two joy advancement, uh, and uh, we take a walk spot, and uh, from now on, all the records are ta taken with a walk spot. Pictures, uh, CT scan, everything, so we know his bite is not slipping from anywhere. And that's what we get, you know, this is a before picture and this is after. Uh, we can see his uh, nasal profile definitely improved. Uh, his, uh, 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 the bones came forward around the nose, so it's better lip support uh, and better nasal support. Uh, you know, the facial asymmetry is treated uh, by asymmetric uh, uh, advancement of the lower jaw. Uh, and uh, this is his profile. So let's take a look at the profile. Uh, as we move the nasal base forward uh, and get the nasal spine uh, in this area uh, push on the septum, we, we can get a 
much better nasal profile, much better paranasal support, so it's not concave anymore, and the lip, uh, the lip is better. So this this person gonna age 100% better than this person. Why? Because he has skeletal uh, support for the soft tissue, and uh, you can see he has a little, uh, uh, you know, his chin doesn't look stronger, but the Pogonian went forward uh, approximately uh, four to five millimeters. So two, two joint bands for class three patient. Why? Because we treated the face, but not the bite. If we would treat the bite, we would just do the setup, uh, setback or the mandible, and we would get a flat face, long face, and that's it. So patient here on three quarter view, you know, uh, he didn't even need any cheek implants at all. He looks uh, totally fine. You can see we got rid of his long face uh, syndrome right there, long face long face, no genioplasty, so we didn't touch his chin. All we did is close his bite, uh, decrease his uh, uh, lower third, and uh, did by max advancement. Uh, no uh, occlusal plane uh, change uh, uh, here. 